Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube video. So today we are going to bypass the Windows 11 login screen password. But this method can be also applied for people who are running Windows 10. Yeah. So first things first, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do or the trick that we're going to use. So I'm going to click here. So when I click here, you can see what we call a magnifier, right? So when I toggle this button to on, right now, it's going to open the magnifier. But in this method, we're going to modify the system so that when we toggle the magnifier button, it's going to open a CMD window. So I'm going to show you. You can follow through the tutorial. Yeah. So first things first, we're going to click this, this power button over here. Then you are going to hold the shift key until the laptop or computer reboots. So I'm going to hold the shift key, then press restart. While holding the shift key, I'm going to click here again. And the system will reboot to what we call a Windows recovery environment. So I'm going to wait for the system to reboot. Yeah. After system has finished rebooting, you will see this window, which is the Windows recovery environment. So you're going to select this option, which is troubleshoot, then advanced option. So you're going to see this option, which is command prompt. If you don't see this option, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. But you'll need a flash drive with at least 8 GB space and a Windows ISO file, either Windows 10 or Windows 11. But for now, I'm going to select this option since my computer has this option. So I'm going to select command prompt. Then you're going to see the command prompt window here. So I'm going to type this command, which is disk part. Yeah, then I'm going to type list disk. So here you're going to select the disk that the operating system has been installed on right now. You, we have only one disk, which is disk 0, so I'm going to select disk 0. Then I'm going to type this command. And here we'll see a number of volumes. So here we're going to detect the volume that the operating system has been installed on. Right now, as I can check, mine is letter C. Yeah, so I'm going to exit. So yours may be different, but if you want to confirm, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to type here exit. Then I'm going to clear the screen. So I'm going to type this letter C. So if yours is different, you're going to type here the letter. So mine is C right now. So I'm going to type C. Then if you want to confirm if you have the correct letter, you're going to type this command. And here we'll see these files. If you want to confirm, you can go to the users folder. And here you will see the number of users so i've selected the correct drive so i'm going to type this command here so i'm going to type this so now here is the trick that you're going to do we're going to modify the magnifier to be cmd so you're going to type this command here you can type a name so i'm going to type just hack one and i'm going to type rename now i'm going to make cmd to be magnified so i'm going to type this command and that's it so you're going to reboot the system. So I'm going to type this command. And the system is going to reboot back to the login screen.
right now the system has finished rebooting yeah so we are at the login screen so i'm going to test if our method worked so i'm going to press here enter and i'm going to click here so when we toggle this magnifier button we're supposed to get a cmd window so let's do it so i'm going to click here As you can see, the command prompt window has already opened. So I'm going to type this command, which is net user. And here you will see the username. So you're going to select the username that you want to bypass the, the login screen. So mine is Fashasanto. So I'm going to type here net user Fashasanto, then an asterisk, then press enter. So you will be popular to type a password. So I'm not going to type a password, I'm going to just type enter, then enter again. The command completed successfully, so I'm going to close this. And now, I'm just going to press enter, and we're going to log in to the system. And that said, we'll have successfully bypassed the Windows 11 login screen password. As you can see, it has worked, but now we have a challenge. Since we modified the CMD to be magnify, right now when you want to access CMD, you have to do, use the magnifier. So to revert back the changes, you'll have to go back to the Windows recovery environment. Yeah, so we're going to come here. Then press the power button. Then we're going to hold the shift key and press restart. Okay guys, now the system has finished rebooting to the Windows recovery environment. And again, we're going to revert back the changes so that when you click the magnifier, it's going to open the magnifier, not the CMD. So I'm going to come here to troubleshoot, then advanced option, then command prompt. Yeah, then we're going to type here the letter, which is letter C. Then we're going to type this command. Then we're going to type here rename. So we are finished. Now we're going to reboot the system. And now everything is back to normal. So for the people who did not see the command prompt option, so I'm going to show you what you are going to do. Yeah. So we'll need a flash drive, at least 8 GB, and the Windows 10 ISO file. So I'm going to show you. Yeah. So if you didn't see the command prompt option, in the Windows recovery environment, you're going to download this software here, which is going to help you to create a bootable USB flash drive. This software. So I'm going to, to open the software. Yeah. And here you're going to select the Windows 10 ISO file or the Windows 11 ISO file. If you don't have the ISO file, you're going to come here, then press download. So here you can choose to download using a browser. You can tick that, then press download. And this is going to download the ISO file. But for me, I've already downloaded. So I'm going to cancel that. Then I'm going to choose the select option. Then press select. And here I'm going to select the Windows ISO file. 
and then you're going to press start make sure you've plugged in your usb flash drive then you're going to press start and it's going to copy the files to the usb so you're going to wait for this process to finish yeah and after it has finished you're going to power off your computer or laptop and plug in your usb flash drive yeah and hold the boot key right so i'm going to cancel this because i've already done mine so right now that you have a bootable usb flash drive you're going to start your laptop or computer so i'm going to demonstrate this using a virtual machine and while starting your computer you're going to press the boot key of your computer or laptop sometimes it can be f9 or f12 depending on the laptop's manufacturer yeah so right now i'm going to press f12 to boot using the usb flash drive And here you will see press any key to boot from CD or DVD. And if everything goes well, you will see this screen here. So you're going to come here and press next. Then you will see an option to repair your computer. I'm going to press repair your computer. Then you will come to troubleshoot. Then you will see the command prompt. Yeah. And now you're going to follow the steps that I had showed you earlier on in the video. Yeah. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.